And today I wanted to show you how the essential trace mineral zinc supports optimal brain function. Zinc, like copper, selenium, and iron, is an example of a beneficial heavy metal that the body needs every day for optimal metabolism. And zinc is obviously very different from well-known toxic heavy metals like cadmium, lead, and mercury. Dietary zinc is transported to the liver, where the zinc is then bound to the antioxidant protein metallothionine, which facilitates and regulates zinc's distribution to our cells. And while zinc is required for the proper function of over 200 metabolic enzymes throughout the body, in the brain, zinc-bound metallothionine maintains the structural integrity of our blood-brain barrier, which of course blocks chemicals and toxins from entering the brain, while also reducing existing brain oxidation, and overall protecting brain cells, the myelin sheath surrounding our neurons, and also delicate neurotransmitters. A deficiency of zinc is an extremely common feature in people with depression, ADHD, autism, and even schizophrenia, and excessive oxidative stress, which rapidly depletes what zinc you already have, is definitely a contributing factor to all of these conditions. Zinc is also required to convert dietary and supplemental vitamin B6, also known as pyridoxine, into its active form, pyridoxal 5-phosphate, or P5P, which itself is needed for efficient production of critical neurotransmitters like serotonin, dopamine, and gamma-aminobiteric acid, or GABA. And all of these are well known for contributing greatly to optimal brain function. Zinc is already well known for balancing levels of copper in the body, so a zinc deficiency can also lead to an overload of copper, which impairs the brain levels of critical neurotransmitters like dopamine and norepinephrine. A zinc deficiency also obviously leads to a deficiency of metallothionine, which results in increased oxidative stress, impaired mitochondrial function, and inhibition of cellular oxygen metabolism, leading eventually to cell death, especially in the liver, kidneys, connective collagen tissues, and the brain. Conversely, adequate daily intake of zinc results in a higher production of metallothionine that then neutralizes and removes toxins from the body. The richest food sources of zinc are red meat and some seafood like oysters. So if you don't regularly eat like this, then you definitely need to supplement with zinc every day. And a great daily dose for supplemental zinc is anywhere from 30 to 50 milligrams. You do also get zinc in some foods like cereal grains, and lentils, but these are also unfortunately high in the anti-nutrient phytic acid, also known as phytates, which binds to minerals like zinc in the intestines, preventing their absorption. So if you're eating these high phytate foods, then you need to be taking a digestive enzyme blend that specifically includes the enzyme phytase, which, as its name implies, breaks down phytates specifically. And doing this would radically improve your absorption capacity for zinc and other minerals. I've told you plenty of times before how the bioflavonoid quercetin enhances the cellular absorption of zinc, what we call a zinc ionophore. And the specific mechanism behind that is that quercetin enhances the release of metallothionine, which, again, is needed to properly distribute and deposit zinc where it's needed. Also, quercetin's unparalleled antioxidant activity definitely supports the already powerful antioxidant action of metallothionine. Folic acid, also known as vitamin B9, also improves zinc absorption. So try taking your daily zinc and quercetin along with either a folic acid supplement and or a full B vitamin complex for the best possible performance. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzymental. Stay healthy.